Hey guys, and today it is finally Christmas. The wait is over, it is Christmas day. Are you excited for your Christmas dinners? Because I certainly am. Anyway, without further ado, and without spoiling the rest of your Christmas day, I will be answering some of your questions. I asked you on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, through text, to get as many questions as you could think of for the special day of Christmas day. As you may know, we did this last year, and as you also may know, my sister is not with me. So this is going to be the one half of the Crazy Kins. To represent her spirit, I am wearing the necklace that she gave to me. This means so much to me. When she gave it to me, I literally burst into tears. This is one important present that I was gifted at Christmas. Now, I do apologise if I answer any of these questions very similar to what I answered in the Christmas tag because that went up first and I did that quite a while ago compared to this so I'll try my best in not to come up with the same answers but I do apologise if they are the same answers anyway, let's get into this first question is by the lovely Courtney her question was what's your favourite thing about Christmas? my favourite thing about Christmas would have to be kind of the build up to Christmas not only that, but giving I love giving gifts especially to my family, especially to those people who you spend hours trying to think of the perfect gift for that they're not going to think of. So I think giving is my favourite thing and just seeing their happy smiley faces on Christmas Day when they open a present from me. Next question was from Amna and I believe Amna asked this exact same question last year so apologies if my answers haven't changed. What is your favourite Christmas movie? My favourite Christmas movie has to be either The Santa Claus or Home Alone. Those two movies are just a winning combination. I have to watch them every year. That just really gets me in the festive mood. I cannot really watch them any other time of the year because me, my brother and my sister watch them on Christmas Eve and it's kind of a tradition that we just sit down together and just have a right good old laugh. To be fair, when we were younger, we did watch them non-stop and that wasn't just around Christmas time. That was like all year round when we wanted to watch a movie because it's just a go-to movie and we absolutely love it. The next question is from my beautiful best friend and that is angel or star on the top of your Christmas tree and it, for me it'll have to be a star, it has to be a star of some sort. We do have an angel that we alternate each year but I prefer a star. We have our nativity under the Christmas tree so I like the fact the, the stars at the top of the tree because in the nativity obviously we have the star that points where Jesus is and the nativity is under the tree so it kind of makes sense I don't know let me let me let me know what you have an angel or a star next question is from my mother and it says if you could have anything besides what you normally have for Christmas dinner what would you have that is a hard one because I love my Christmas dinner and I could not have anything else but if I was to have my Christmas dinner and then something else as well as my Christmas dinner then I, I don't know I mean I guess it's just gonna be obvious and I'm just gonna have to say pizza but I have pizza like Fridays and Saturday every week and sometimes a Wednesday when I go around my best friends so it's kind of like what, what else do you have for Christmas dinner, other than Christmas dinner? You're gonna have your favourite food? No? I don't know. What's your favourite thing to do at Christmas? And that is from Liesl. My favourite thing to do at Christmas? Hmm. Favourite thing to do at Christmas? I think just watching Christmas films in general. That, that just makes Christmas for me. Like, I, can't, I could not go through December and just celebrate it on that one day. Like I have to have the build up and I have to have the decorations around me and the hot chocolates and the movies. That's just what I really love to do. And I think our whole family loves to do that as well. What's your favourite Christmas decoration? I will go get it. Hold on, I'm just going to pick something off the Christmas tree because most of the Christmas decorations that are on the Christmas tree are like my favourites. So my favourite, if I can hold her up, is this little angel. She is just too friggin cute. We've had it for so many years but it's just a simple white feather 
as the body. Her arms are made of like pipe cleaners with these little crystallized beads on the end. I'm like talking and the feathers are going everywhere. She's got like a little tinsel halo and she's asleep. <laughs> so she like sits on the branch of our tree and that, and that just like, that helps her to hang. I don't know, I just, I really think she's adorable. She's my, she's been my favourite for so many years. Real tree or artificial tree? Now, we've never had a real tree in our house because one, our house is not that big. It's really not. It's like small. We have an artificial tree. It is four foot, I believe, four foot tree that has been in the family longer than I have been alive. But it's in pretty good condition, bearing in mind, like it is pretty good. The fact that none of the branches have really fallen off, like some of them might have like fallen off. It's it's a pretty good decent tree. So I don't think I'm gonna find another one like it, so yeah. Where did I live 50 years ago? That's from my gran. Gran, I believe you lived in Leicester 50 years ago. Don't know where in Leicester, but I believe you lived in Leicester. Most embarrassing Christmas memory from Lee. I'm not entirely sure with this one. Like, I can remember some Christmases where I was like, felt awkward about the present that I received, but it wasn't really embarrassing. So I'm just gonna have to go with the one year where, so when I was a teenager, I absolutely loved Paramore. I still love Paramore. My fandom started at the age of 13. I'm now 23. That is a 10 year span. Wow, I've loved Paramore for 10 years. That is an achievement. So yeah, 10 years of loving the band, but somewhere in between the ages of like 15 and 20, I believe one Christmas I received two sweaters. And I have a thing about fake merchandise. I do not like endorsing my money to fake merchandise people. Like I do not like giving them money for fake items of band merch. My dad loves to surprise us on Christmas Day. He always gets us a few things from our list and then he gets a present that's a surprise present that we don't already have. This one year, I opened these two presents last because I didn't know what they were. And essentially on Christmas Day, I normally open the ones that I don't know last. So I opened the first one and it was this Riot Paramore jumper. So it was plain black and it had the second album title all over it. So it was Riot, 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 Riot everywhere. My face was kind of like, oh wow, that is a really good idea to get me a Riot jumper. But in my head I was kind of like, it's fake merchandise. And I thought, why has my dad spent money on fake merchandise? The thought behind it was so nice. I loved it, but at the same time I hated it. But I couldn't really say anything. But my face kind of said it anyway. So I was just like, no, it's fine. It's, it's the, just the one, it's just the one present. It's okay, I really appreciate it. The thought behind it was brilliant. And yeah, that was that. Then I opened the other final present in the kind of same kind of wrapping, but it was more of a square. I opened it and it was the exact same sweater, just with a hood. That is the only difference. Now, me being able to recover from the first one, my second face was just kind of like, Oh. Oh, I've got two! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In my head I'm thinking, what am I going to do with two sweaters that are exactly the same? I don't even wear that many jumpers in winter. I mainly wear Christmas jumpers. That is it in winter. My little teenage self was just like, okay, it's fine. Just brush it off. I explained to my dad weeks after why I didn't like fake merchandise and he then understood and he was a lot more aware and grateful. Like, I really loved the thought behind it, I really did. I appreciated everything. It was just the fact that I had now, I now had two jumpers that were exactly the same. I don't wear that many jumpers. So that was embarrassing for me to say, Dad, look, I'm sorry, but I really don't like the present. I can't think of anything worse than that, really. That's embarrassing on Christmas Day. We don't really have an embarrassing Christmas. Do you prefer the traditional colours or others? So obviously your traditional colours are red, green and gold. I would also say silver is kind of a traditional colour as well. However, my mum does not like the colour blue at Christmas. It's her favourite colour, but she doesn't like it at Christmas. So me and my sister growing up also had this kind of same 
Like it was like embedded in this from when we were kids. We just don't like the colour blue at Christmas. It's just not a festive colour. I, I don't know. Just blue is a no-no. Just no blue. Unless it's like a, like a really ice silvery blue, because then that will class as Elsa or Frozen or ice. But like a, an electric blue is just a big no-no. Next question is from Bethan, and that is, do you have any family Christmas traditions? Yes, we have tons. Me and my sister named a few last year, so I'm just going to name them. We have three books read to us on Christmas Eve. We get all the sacks out on Christmas Eve. We get up around 6.30, 7am on Christmas Day. We then open our Christmas presents. We go around in a circle from youngest to oldest opening our Christmas presents one by one. I know, it's a long process, but we love it. Next, we have Christmas dinner. We make sure everyone's at the table before we crack the crackers. <laughs> Then we normally would then sit down all in the living room and watch TV. That's our traditions for that. Going on from that, my dad says, which of our family Christmas traditions will you take with you to your new family when you get married? I think mainly the traditions I will definitely continue will be the three books before bedtime. The three books that we read at bedtime is The Nativity Story, Santa Claus Big Night Out, and the Polar Express, those three books. If not, at least another story, just three. Three stories that include every single thing about Christmas. I think making sure my kids have sacks, not stockings. I prefer sacks because you get loads more in the sacks than you do in the stockings. The only other family that I've ever really met that does sacks was Paige and Misha. They had sacks as well and they, they do exactly the same thing as we do as a family. Go round one by one opening a present. And I just found that so nice that another family does exactly what we do. So yeah, there would be the Christmas stories before bedtime, putting the sacks out before bedtime, including um, some biscuits and milk for Santa, and then getting up around 6.30, 7 o'clock a.m. and going around in a circle, opening the present one by one. So I don't know, I just like that. So I think they are the three traditions I am definitely gonna pass on when I have my own kids and my own family and my husband. What do you most look forward to on Christmas Day? I think I've already, I've already said this, but just waking up that morning and realising it's Christmas Day, along with the fact you're now going to open tons of presents and sit there watching everyone else opening their presents, especially the ones you've given to them from yourself. For this Christmas, I cannot wait for my mum to open her present, I cannot wait for my brother to open his, I cannot wait for them all to open what, what I've given them and I just, it's so exciting, I just, I just love it. And Christmas is the perfect time of year where I can just focus on everybody all at once and just see everyone's faces all at once. I don't know. What are you hoping to get this Christmas? The one thing this year that I don't normally ask for Christmas at all, I'm not really a girly girl that asks things specifically for a girl at Christmas. Like, I wouldn't normally ask for makeup, I wouldn't normally ask for perfume, like those kind of girly things I wouldn't normally ask for. However, there has been this one perfume which I've had my eye on since it came out and it's a Calvin Klein perfume. I'm not one who really spends so much on perfume, like I can't physically do it. Not 40 to 50 quid's worth, I don't know why. Deep Euphoria perfume by Calvin Klein. Oh my goodness, it's like my drug. It smells so good. I even have the sample sitting on my bookshelf and it's like peeled open halfway so it kind of like gives it off in the room, like making the air smell of deep euphoria. It's just so nice. It makes me feel sexy, it makes me feel sassy, it makes me feel classy, it just makes me feel really grown up. Whereas my bombshell by Victoria's Secret is just kind of like perfume that I love to wear when I go out um, on a special occasion so Deep Euphoria is going to be even more special if I get it. I really really want this perfume if I don't get it I won't be so devastated but I think I will get over it eventually but that's the number one thing. One thing I'm so excited for is my best friend opening her present. Now I'm giving her four and one of them I was supposed to give her last Christmas but I couldn't get the deal I wanted on it and then it was supposed to be for her birthday and it still hadn't gone down in price to the price I wanted it to and then I finally managed to 
get it down to a, a good enough price that I'm happy to pay. I'm so excited to, to know her reaction when she opens it because it's just been bugging me for a year and a half trying to get it. That's how long it's taken me to try and get it. And I'll tell you what it is because by the time this video is up she's probably already opened it and texted me her reaction. It's the Heart of Dixie box set on DVD and that TV program is one of her all time favourites and it's taken so long for them to release it out as a DVD but not only that it's taken me so long to get it so yeah. And that is the end of this video. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below. Have a wonderful day, have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you next video. Bye guys! Now with my gifts, hair, it's fake mer merchant, what? it's fake merchant, mer I can't say the word. We go around in a circle as a family from youngest to oldest, old oldest, <laughs> from youngest to oldest, holding Holding? Oh my goodness. Why I didn't like fake merc mer aha. merchandise. What the heck is that? Merchandise, especially the Polo Express. Hello? That wasn't a knock, that was more of a shake of the handle. Yeah, can you just tell me what to do with that? Because I've sent about four pictures. So. Medium. I normally do it as medium <coughs> when I send her pictures. So is it gone then? Yes. Okay. Well, it's, it does it say at the bottom? It says oh, it's sending, sending okay. and then it will say sent. I explained to him why I did not like fake merchant. I really can't say this. The opening hair. Like fake merch. Oh my goodness. I'm becoming like my sister last year when she couldn't get her words out. Now I'm. It's the curse. It's the curse of these Q and A videos. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas.